and here he is. Uh, the man of the hour was here. <laughs> we had the whole year. My turn. All right. Well, uh, that's my that's my media. Uh, he had the whole year. He probably still saying the same shit he was saying all year. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. You said you missed defense. Yeah, man, you missed. I did. I missed one. I did. I did. I did. I missed the X out with Duncan. And I, I, I apologize to Duncan like a lot. And I was. I did. I did. I still obsess over things like that. This is true. Leave it up to Bam to point out my mistakes, though. <laughs> oh, he did. Yeah. Leave it up to Bam to point out my mistakes. Oh man. Hold up. Recording stopped. I'm about to say something crazy. Damn. What? We tied. Duh. No, we tied in rebounds. Remember we had Duh. a bet? <laughs> we had a bet in rebounds. We had a bet in rebounds. Recording in progress. Thank you. UD, you can plan, you can look ahead, you can think what a day is going to be. But then to get to this type of day, it almost reminded some of us of Dwayne's final day and his triple-double and all that. In your view, did this sort of play out maybe the way you had envisioned it? Um... Probably couldn't envision it going any better. Um, you know, I went over a thousand scenarios in my head last night. You know, um, I thought about you know how Kobe went out. I think he scored like sixty. I was like, hell no, <laughs> can't do that. <laughs> D Wade had the triple double. I was like, hell no, I can't do that. So um, you know, I just wanted to do it my way. You know what I mean? And play my game, the mid range. You know, getting a you know small guy on the block and take advantage. Um, I've been working on the corner threes and just, you know, the way the game has evolved. So, you know, I just want to stay within myself. You know what I'm saying? Stay comfortable, you know what I mean? And stay confident. And I'm just staying afloat. Um, my guys were looking for me. You know, I never would get 17 shots up in a regular game. But, um, you know, I'm glad to show that I'm still capable of playing this game at a high level, man. You know, get a lot of a lot of flack for, you know, not really being out there necessarily with the guys. But I do so much behind the scenes, you know, playing with these guys, working with these guys. And, you know, through that work, I'm allowed to stay in shape and I'm allowed to stay active. And, you know, we say stay ready so you don't have to get ready. So, you know, I'm just thankful that at 42 I can go out here and play this game at a high level like this. There's obviously been a lot of things said to you and about you the last few days, few weeks, as everyone's been pointing toward this day. But what did the rocking chair and that <laughs> reaction from your teammates? What did the- I didn't want to sit in that damn chair until I saw the trophies on the side. When I saw the three trophies on the side, I was like, okay, I can sit on it. But before then, I was like, hell no. Um, but I knew, I knew it was going to be a joke coming from somewhere. Somebody was going to have some diapers, uh, some baby food or something. Like, it, they just keep it coming. You know what I'm saying? But it's all fun and jokes, man. And these guys really, man, I, I got to thank these guys, man, because they, they allowed me to just continue to reinvent myself. And, um, you know, through that, you know, you see the evolution of who I am now today. So they've, they, they're just as part of, you know, my success as I am of theirs. We did. It was only, I think, five minutes, but what did it mean to play alongside Bam in that first quarter? You guys really haven't played much together. Nah, it was fun. It was fun, man. I enjoyed every moment of it. But um, honestly, I didn't even know he was out there. Nah, I didn't even know he was out there, man. I was trying to just take in everything, every, every, every sound, every move. Um, you know, I, it was times where I felt like it was just me out there by myself, to be honest with you. You know, I just wanted to just take it all in and not miss a beat. You know what I'm saying? Allow myself to feel how I needed to feel and allow myself to think what I needed to think. And, um, you know, I just didn't want to leave this moment um, with any regrets. What was going through your head on that fast break with uh, with Duncan? Oh, hell yeah. I knew it was. I saw, and as soon as we got the steal and I threw it to Duncan, I said, oh, yes. I've been waiting to show people I can steal dunk for a long time. I don't understand how people think that, you know, that I can't, but, you know, one thing about it, two things for sure, you know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So every day I'm in here working with these guys, and I'm very capable of dunking the basketball. So it took a long time for people to see it, but I'm happy they finally saw it. UD, I know you got a lot of interests outside the court, but athletes say it's tough to replace this. The Just being out there, being on the stage, the competitive stuff, where do you think you'll be able to replicate anything close to what this is and have you had any conversations with Dwayne and others who've been through this one thing not golf I tried that that ain't it (laughs) that ain't it that just pisses me off (laughs) that so we're gonna move on from that one um business 
business, I get excited about business. You know, I get excited about sitting down and having conversations. Um, you know, I got affordable housing, you know, projects. You know, I, I just got so much going on that excites me. And I get a chance to learn. You know what I mean? So um, that's what I'm excited about. The next stage and the next phase of the evolution is the business side of things, the businessman. Um, and I really think that um, I have an opportunity to be even more successful on the other side when I get there. You do I know the season didn't go the way you guys envisioned, but you, you have been playing better collectively the last two yes. or three weeks. Yes. How important is that, and what how, how what, what do you think the ceiling could be still I, for this group? I, of all people, know what it means to get hot at the right time because our first championship team just got hot at the right time, and we rode that wave all the way through. Um, so I'm not getting ahead of myself, but I understand how it is in the playoffs when a team can get hot at the right time. I feel like we're a very dangerous team right now, um, but the games have to be played. You know what I mean? But um, I think all the things we went through throughout this year, good, bad, indifferent, pretty, ugly, all those things have brought us to this point where now, um, in a weird way, we've gained confidence through all those things. You know what I'm saying? Because we still end up making the playoffs. If you look at it overall, we're still a top 10 team in this NBA record-wise. You know what I mean? We just didn't play the way we were capable of playing. But with that being said, the playoffs is a new season. It's a new opportunity, and I think we're excited about that. UD, obviously, um, Spo mentioned that um, he was back and forth with starting you, but eventually he wanted you to just get in so the fans could really give you the reaction that you deserve. But uh, can you just, talking from that moment of getting that first shot up, through that first half, or what else was going through your mind from there? I mean, he asked me. They asked me what I prefer, and I told him whatever he thinks is best. You know, it doesn't matter to me. I think tonight was about the fans. I think tonight was about my family, you know, all the people that have sacrificed and watched me and, and been loyal and supportive over these 20 seasons. Um, once I stepped out there, it was just business as usual. I missed my first shot, which was, a, I think, a layup maybe, a baseline drive layup, and then Bam came back and missed the same shot, so I didn't feel so bad. <laughs> kind of gave me a little confidence and then uh, it just went from there I suppose when you're talking about all the one-on-one -on -one battles you've had just starting with Dwayne to Jimmy to Bam to the young guys just I feel this game was a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff for you anyway just I guess the evolution of the one-on-one -on -one game and all that practice I guess how important has that been for you and I guess the young guys as well yeah man it's, it's, we always upstairs going at it you know what I mean? And like I said, the, the, the flip side of it is I get a chance to get better as well. Those guys challenge me as well. So, um, you know, some of those moves that you see me doing up tonight was just some of the stuff that I go through with Jimmy and paying attention to Dwayne and just these different guys. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's a miss or make league. I feel like if I can get to my spots where I'm comfortable, then it's, you know, it's going to be a miss or make up to me. UD, between the gift from Bam, all the speeches, all the testimonials and all the thank yous, how humbling has today been? Uh, considering your 20-year career here in Miami? Um, extremely, extremely. You know, I never would have imagined being in this position. You know, when I first stepped in this organization, when I first stepped in this arena, I think people know I was a little rough around the edges. Um, so to find myself 20 seasons, um, three rings, an uh, incredible, you know, career, you know, father, you know, husband, businessman. I mean, I've pretty much done everything that I set out to do. You know, um, God kept me healthy, um, and I'm thankful for that. And um, I know my parents are proud. That's you know, I know they're proud. They cool. They I. Right. <laughs> so you share a moment with an Orlando Magic player. Amongst everything else that you've been able to accomplish over the course of your career, how important is it that you have that reputation and that respect across the? Well, I watch a lot of basketball. You know what I mean. And I get a chance to watch those guys play a lot. You know, because in the state of Florida, and you know things like that so you know to those players and to the coach I say listen I understand what your record says but I say you guys actually have a good team you guys actually have a good team I think when you look at a team of a lot of guys that are six seven six eight six nine they can switch matchups you know you can't really get off the hook because if you switch on them then you're going to be overmatched by a six seven six eight guy you know what I mean so they have a they have a good team man they have pieces to put together you know what I'm saying so I just told those guys man hey listen don't don't waste your summer you know what I'm saying? Use this summer to get better and put yourself in position to make the playoffs next year because you guys got a good enough team to make it. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. We'll, we'll see you anyway next year. Yes, sir. This ain't it. This is not it, guys. <laughs>